Hello everyone and welcome back to High Mathematics. Really interesting algebra problem today. We have 3 to the power m minus 2 to the n equal to 1. And we need to find, of course, the integer solution. So m and n are integer solution. So let's start with, with a little bit thought right here because I can see right now that 2 to the n is greater than 0 because we subtract from this number greater than 0 and we will have, of course, the positive on the right hand side. So let's go next. Let's try to think next. So if we have 3 to the power m equal to 2 to the n plus 1. So we bring this 2 to the n on the right hand side. Of course, if we add positive number, if we add to this positive number, if we add 1, we will have, of course, greater than 0 or moreover, we will have greater than 1. So as you can see, this 2 to the power n plus 1 is greater than 1. So I hope you understand this, this step. So as you can see, so m is, is greater than 0 and 3 to the m is positive, positive integer, is positive integer. So let's, let's work with it. Let's, for example, next, let's express this 2 to the n, so 2 to the n equal to 3 to the m minus 1. So if, if n is equal to 0, then we will have 3 to the m equal to 2, which is, which is of course, not in integer number. So n equal to 0 is, is not our case. But let's notice, let's notice that m equal to n equal to 1 is a solution. It's a solution. So let's notice this solution. Let's notice this. So let's assume, let's assume, let's assume that our n is greater than 1. So let's assume this because if n is equal to 1 we will have a solution to this. But let's assume n is greater than 1. What we will have? We will have the 2 to the power n equal to 0 but with mode with mode 4. So as a result we will have the 3 to the power m equal to 2 to the power n plus 1 which is equal to which is equal to 1 but with mode mode 4. So it's really good to use a substitution. So m equal to 2k where k is positive integer. Integer. And as you can see what we'll have as a result? We'll have the 2 to the power n equal to 3 to the power 2k. We use the substitution and minus minus 1. And why this substitution is good for us? Because right here we'll have 2k the second power and right here we can easily write this second power near this one. So as a result we can easily rewrite it in another way. So 2 to the power n equal to 3 to the power k square and minus 1 square. So the difference of squares of a formula. So let's let's split it. We'll have 2 to the n equal to 3 to the k minus 1 and of course times 3 to the k plus 1. So, if n is, is positive 1, we will have two cases. So, with this one, we will have 3 to the power k minus 1 equal to 2. And from here, we will have 3 to the power k equal to 3, where k is equal to, is equal to 1. And on the left-hand side, we will have 3. On the right-hand side, we will have 3 to the power k plus 1 equal to 4. And, of course, from here, k equal to 1 as well. So, as you can see, we find our k k is equal to is equal to 1 but what about what about solution if k equal to 1 then go to our substitution m equal to 2 so from here m equal to 2 and it's not hard to see that n will be equal to will be equal to 3 so m and n 2 and 3 more roots will have this we will have this answer so let's write our final answer because on the first side one and only answer will be will be 1 and 1 and moreover we will have as you can see more roots so answer the first pair m and n we will have m equal to 1 and n equal to 1 and m equal to 2 and n equal to equal to 3 so as you can see two pairs of of solution we will have not only one but two two and three and one and one of course if you plug in right here we will have three and 2 we will have 3 square we will have 9 we will have 3 square minus 
2 cube, which is equal to 9 minus 8, which is equal to 1. So as you can see, we've, we have two pairs of roots. If you still have any question, write a question in the comment. It will be the to read it. And of course, thank you so much for watching. See you in the next videos.